Are you a parent who is confused and overwhelmed about how to practice right brain education at home? If you are a parent with a child between 0 to 6 years and this video is very helpful to you because I am going to break down the step by step process of how you can practice right brain education at your home with so much ease and the consistency for long lasting. I am Dr. Nalli, I am a whole brain acceleration coach and a certified parent coach. Come let's get started. Many parents often feel that the information that they get about right brain education through various social media platforms, books, blogs and other resources makes them so much overwhelming. Even though they are aware of some information here and there, it puts them into a place of overwhelm and they don't know where to start, how to start and they are completely stuck up. Even in my community, where my students get all the information through my courses, they get stuck from starting because they don't know where to start. So that is why I am going to share here in this YouTube video what I teach my students inside my community. Number one is the warm-ups. Warm-ups are very important for a right brain education session. Just like how if you want to hit the gym, before you do the workout, you do some warm-ups to make sure that your muscles are loosened. Similarly, for right brain education sessions, whatever you are going to do, especially with the flashcard sessions, it is very, very important for you to practice some of the warm-ups. It is not just for the child, but also for the parent because parents have lots of thoughts running in our mind. We have so many responsibilities to take care of. So when we come and do the sessions with our child, when we are going to spend the quality time with our child, it's very important for us to know that you have to feel relaxed when you are starting the sessions because right brain education is not just about transmitting the information but it is more about transmitting the emotions whatever the emotions that you are going through right now that is what you are transmitting to your child so make sure that you do the warm ups with your child and feel relaxed Number two is there are certain flashcard programs that we do as part of right brain education. We can use flashcards to teach a child to read, to read in the number sense, to give them an encyclopedia knowledge about the world. But many parents often think that they have to start all the programs at once and they fail to do so because they don't know after a while how to balance all those programs. That is why I always suggest parents to start with just one program when they are just starting off. Start small and build up based on that. Initially, you take one program which is more comfortable for you and prepare some flashcards by yourself or get it from the market and try to do it for at least two weeks. In, during this process, you will get a routine and also your child is also getting familiarized with the new written that has been followed. During this two week process, you and your child will become more comfortable. So if you are doing one particular program for two weeks and then you can start one more program along with it. Again, after two weeks, you can add the other program as well and then you will be able to strike the balance between the flashcard programs very easily. Now, number three is very critical that most parents will often try to not think about. So what happens is you might have heard the information through books or through some reels or some social media profiles or some videos just like this and you may not know the complete method. If that is your case, if you are a parent falling into that criteria that you don't know the complete reason and complete methods but you just know bits and pieces here and there and you want to start right brain education with your child I would urge you not to do it right away because it's very very important for you to come and understand why we are doing this and what are we doing because understanding the why's and what's of right brain education is very important than knowing the hows because Many parents come and ask like how many flashcards should I show, how many times should I repeat, when I should retire the cards, when I should repeat the cards etc. But it is not the, these information that is going to help you in a long run but knowing what you are doing and why you are doing is going to be very very helpful for you to take the process in a long term. So if you are a parent who is not aware or who doesn't know the methods properly, learn it from the right source. There are books 
available there are also courses available you can also join my free live webinar where i will teach you the what's and why's of right brain education and if you are interested you can join my holistic parenting universe community as well number 4 is the activities many parents do not know that right brain education is not just about flashcards but there are a lot of activities that we do in order to retain the child's natural abilities like photographic memory and their intuition so with respect to the photographic memory we have specific exercises which we do with our children in order to retain their photographic memory for their lifetime similarly for intuition also we do play some certain games which will help them to retain their intuition capability now the next question what comes to parents minds will be like there are so many photographic memory exercises like linking memory space memory mandala and there are so many activities for intuition like telepathy clairvoyance hand reading precognition etc how can i actually balance all of these activities whether i should be doing all these activities every single day now the good news i want to tell you is that you don't have to do all the activities every single day instead what you can do is especially when you are starting off what you can do is you can pick one photographic memory activity in a day and you can also pick one intuition activity a day so that you won't feel overwhelmed you will be able to do one activity which is focused on that skill regularly you will be able to do one photographic memory activity and one intuition activity and also the child will get familiarized about how the activity has to be played so that once they are familiar and once you are getting this routine and then you will be able to add on few more photographic memory activities and few more intuition activities when the time and energy permits now the very important thing is about positive affirmations that you say to your child because it is very important to understand that right brain education is not just about information whatever information that you are going to show via flash cards is not much helpful if you are not focused on the energy that you are passing through to your child so it's very important about what words you choose to speak to your child because when you keep telling that your child is always angry the child is always naughty the child doesn't uh, listen to me at all the child is not at all hearing me all of these kind of statements when you keep repeating it for the child the child will start to believe in those statements about themselves they start to believe your words because parents are the highly influential people for their children children believe their parents 100% we especially moms children believe their moms so much that whatever their mom says they believe it completely so whatever words that you use to tell your child is what the child is going to believe about themselves and whatever you speak is becoming their inner voice so choose your words wisely so instead of telling them uh, you're always angry you're always impatient etc tell them words like you are very kind you speak gentle you are very patient like that so whatever positive affirmations that you're telling to your child that is what becoming the child's inner voice and they start to believe in it and trust me even as parents when we tell them this repeatedly our subconscious mind is also getting wired that my child is gentle my child is patient my child is focused etc so these are the activities which i want you parents to do and you know what these things will take only 5 to 10 minutes in a day even if you are doing all the flashcard programs at once uh, even if you are doing like 30 flashcards in all of those three programs it is going to take you only 30 seconds because flashcards are meant to be flash faster like one card per second so this is going to take only 30 seconds now the photographic memory exercises the intuition activities all of these are going to take 1 to 2 minutes each and then the warm ups will take one at least 2 to 3 minutes not more than that so you see that it is actually taking only 5 minutes but it's not just about the flash cards that you are flashing but what you do before and after is more important by connecting with your child by spending that quality time with your child all of these things matters a lot so on the whole all of these things will take only 15 minutes in a day so it is very important for you to first learn the system and learn the proper method of how to do it and then you will be able to easily do it by just spending 15 minutes of quality time with your child i would love to know your comments after you start practicing these steps 
with your child at your home if you found this video helpful please do subscribe to my youtube channel so, so that you don't miss out any of my videos on parenting and early childhood education also follow me on in instagram to catch the daily snippets of my life i'll meet you in the next video bye bye